Glenn, thank you. Well, the night before UC's Board of Regents voted to raise student tuition, they threw themselves a party at a very expensive hotel in San Francisco. And then there was a similar party earlier this month. KPIX 5's Melissa Kane tells us where the money is coming from. And, uh, I, I understand how difficult this is. And I also when voting to raise tuition earlier this year, some regents at the University of California said they were sad, but it was necessary. Yes, I will be regrettably supporting the, the uh, tuition increase. And I think that every single one of us in this room doesn't want to raise tuition for our students. It's very painful for all of us. But the night before voting to hike tuition, the UC Regents spent $18,000 at a party at the Intercontinental Hotel. Only 65 people attended, which works out to about $300 per person. A few months later, the state auditor released a report showing serious financial mismanagement at the office of the president, run by President Janet Napolitano. The office of the president is not doing a good job. When the regents met and discussed the audit, no one seemed upset with the president. There aren't many people of her quality, a lifetime of public service and integrity and resume that are even willing to put themselves forward to come and run a public institution like UC. Several regents said it was just a communication problem. But we're not talking about malfeasance. We're talking about lack of clarity in, in the process of saying where it's all going. Now, the San Francisco Chronicle reports that the regents had a blowout dinner party the night before the meeting about the audit, this time spending about $15,000 for a party at the Palace Hotel, costing about $260 per person. So where does the money for these parties come from? Well, the office of the president. And who approves the president's budget? The regents. So, to be clear, the same group that is supposed to oversee the president's budget bills it for parties. And according to the Chronicle, that amounts to about $225,000 in dinner parties since 2012. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5. And right now,